video uh, what we are going to do is i am going to demonstrate to you how you can create uh, data frames in python so basically before starting with the video let me introduce what are data frames uh, in data frames uh, data frames are a type of a 2d labeled data structures uh, which can be used when you import a pandas library in python so uh, first of all you need to use uh, import or install a pandas uh, in python so the command for installing pandas package is i will give it in the description uh, it's basically a pip install uh, sorry pip install yes you just need to type this uh, and yeah uh, and that's all the pandas is installed so i will give how to install this command in the description you can install using that command so let's begin with this video i will demonstrate how what are data frames exactly we will have a look then you will get a clear idea of exactly what are data frames so first of all i have installed pandas in my uh, system so that's why i have i'm creating import pandas as pretty this is a basic syst systematic way how you import pandas in your python script so in this line i have imported import pandas as pd if you have not installed pandas in your system it will throw an error when you run this uh, so the next thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create one dictionary in python so within this dictionary what i'm gonna do is uh, create the first uh, suppose uh, a visitor uh, suppose a visitor to my uh, to my youtube channel suppose so i'm gonna create a dictionary uh, let's keep this as a day so on day one day two day three day four so on day one day two three three i have a visitor count as suppose suppose on day one 40 50 60 70 so and suppose i create another bounce bounce rate as so bounce rate is basically the user visits to your channel and again go back uh, don't stay for a long time on your channel so that's a bounce rate suppose a bounce rate is two four six one that's it just save this and this we have created a dictionary named a d1 now what i'm gonna do is i just show you how this dictionary looks like just save this and i click on run run module you can see uh, the dictionary is being displayed uh, this is the dictionary we just now created so uh, now we have a look we'll have a look at uh, what are data frames and how they are useful so basically this is just a small amount of data but when you deal with a huge amount of data means the csv files containing a thousands of records so it becomes very difficult to actually deal with this amount of data being displayed in a very uh, 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 informal way means you will get uh, more number of data over here over here so let's have a look what are data frames so just minimize this so the data frames can be used as follows i'll create another variable d2 equals what i will do is now pd dot data frame just pass d1 over here so what i have done in this line is I have created a variable d2 pd this pd is the pandas we are uh, using pandas as pd even if you don't do this as pd you need to write over here as pandas so i have uh, created another name for calling pandas as pd so pd dot data frame d1 so over here i will print d2 because we have created converted this dictionary into a data frame and which we have stored in a variable named d2 so right now we are printing d2 let's have a look what data frames have effect on this script so just run this module
you can have a look we, we have the data is being displayed in a tabular form very systematically so this is basically helpful when you deal with a huge more humongous amount of data so uh, you can have a look the column names have been displayed and the, this is the index being displayed over here 0 1 2 3 so this is basically before converting our dictionary simply dictionary is being displayed uh, and when we convert this dictionary into a data frame using a pandas uh, package or library you can call so this is the effect of data frame so I hope you have understand what, how data frame is useful when you deal with a humongous amount of data so stay tuned for further videos on uh, further search videos and if you like this video do give a thumbs up or like and share it with your friends who are very enthusiastic to learn pythons and explore python and pandas library also so till then take care and thanks a lot for watching this video